evening, everyone. This is Sonoda Mae Sonnenkern here from Second Life, coming to you live from the middle of nowhere. Um, this video will walk you through the somewhat complicated steps. Uh, it depends on what, how experienced you are as a modder, how far you've come from, if you've ever worked on sculpts, to the new mesh, to, of course, alpha masks, which the new Kinzart um, Husky does utilize a great deal and believe me it's for the better like you'll see once they get in a little bit closer uh, how the alpha masking really really does make this avatar pop as well as the textures so uh, just for your viewing pleasure this is what you could look like but uh, this is my personal look uh, so please be original be awesome <laughs> uh, this is the completed uh, avatar with uh, my bento hands as well as the bento legs that come with the avatar the bento tail now please note there are unrigged versions of the avatar parts inside another folder in your kinsart husky once you unbox it if you don't like using the rig parts there's unrigged parts for you to use and yes you may not see it here i'm not wearing it right now but we'll go through it when i start texturing the avatar uh, i did make textures for the hands or the paws uh, as well so I'm just going to start from bare minimum, bare scratch. I have a husky box resed out here. So I'm going to click it, click it, click, click it, click it. Well, you know, it could help if I uh, disabled this. That would help a lot. There we go. So that was the extras folder that came in. And this is the avatar itself. <laughs> so I gotta put my busy thingy back on so we won't get any uh, disruptions here while I'm doing this for y'all so here is the avatar folder now I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the stuff that I don't use like I will not be wearing the bits and I will also not need the bento hand AO I will need the head, if you want it, your tail to wag like this, you do need this tail AO. And also, I will not need male stuff. Let's just stop right there. All right, so here's that extras folder I was talking about. Static, these are um, non-rigged, non-moving parts. So let me just go ahead and take off my avatar. I completed avatar and we'll go ahead and wear the newly unpacked one so you can follow along with me that much easier whenever Second Life decides to take off everything for me anytime perfect I look gorgeous I look so gorgeous guys look at that booty okay so I'm just going to right click wear items everything in the folder that I want to wear I'm gonna just delete this because I might click it again and this is what a out-of-the-box Kinsart Husky looks like. So, you should have purchased my German Shepherd Mod Natural, and you will be receiving this box, which it says Wear Me, and it'll show up as a HUD. So as you can see, I'm moving my camera around, and it stays stationary. So you click it to unpack, and you'll be given a folder similar to this in your recent tab. So just click it, and then accept what it gives you, detach it and here we are in the folder all this highlighted stuff so what we're gonna have to do is res out the parts so I'm gonna need the head I'm gonna need that jaw I'm gonna need those ears look at this this isn't as gorgeous I'm gonna need the peats all the peats 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 and the tail Fun stuff. Let's start resing things out, shall we? So we have the head. We have the ear. The foot. Hand. Leg. Lower jaw. The right ear. The right foot. Hand. Leg. And of course the tail. <coughs> so, once you have all your parts rezzed out, take your time please remember this is a video go back if you need to there's no rush you can pause it rewind it fast forward skip ahead 
whichever comes easier to you. Okay, so let's just start off with the head because that's like the first thing I always go to. So in your folder for my mod, you will see this texture labeled G Shep Head Jaw Trans, which is transparent cheek fluff. So all this takes care of the head and the jaw and this cheek fluff right here, not this big fluff back here. We'll get to that in a bit, but this, these little spiny parts right here, spiky parts, uh, disable teleport. <laughs> so let's start off with the head. I'm going to right click edit, I'm going to edit link parts and then click on the texture tab. Clicking directly onto the snout, I'm going to bring this texture, the head, jaw, transparent cheek fluff, and drop it onto my head. Perfect, see? Let me zoom in here. You have this fluff right here. You see how it's nice and sharp? So just a little FYI, should you ever drop the texture onto the part and it looks like this, like it looks like like that, like it's, it's there's just a flat line here, we don't want that. So in your texture window, go to alpha mode and it should be alpha masking, not none, not alpha blending, not evasive mask, but go to alpha masking. The mask cutoff should be 100. So just press 100 and then press enter. You'll do it for here and you'll also do it for this cheek fluff back here, which this is why alpha masking is amazing. Just look, um, I was talking with Silver Boo and he's like, you should do this. And I said, w what do you mean? And he's like, look at my cheeks. Look really good at my cheeks. And I did. And I was inspired to go back and just add a little bit more detail so you get more bang for your buck. Hope you all enjoy this mod once it's completed. So here's the part where I get a lot of questions for. The eyebrow states and the eye states. What some people tend to do is click select face and then just click on one part of the eye. Well, you're only clicking one blinking state, and as you can see, there's a lot. Think of it as an animation. You need a lot of frames to do a walk cycle or to do a five-second cartoon. You need a lot of frames. So there's a lot of blinking states here. So I'm going to go back to Move, and then Edit Linked Parts in my window. I'm going to click just around here in the corner. If you turn on Control-Alt-T or Command-Alt-T for Max, It'll bring all the transparent objects up to view and they're highlighted in red. So if you click right here, that's the eyelashes. You can disable those in your Husky HUD. You want to click back here, I'm sorry, back here near the corner of the eye where you get all of the blinking states. So let's bring up the inventory again. The head and cheek fluff, bring it over here, disable it and you can see like, hey, you know, let it blink. You did not miss a single blink state. They're perfect. So you want to do the same over here. And now for the eyebrows, control alt T. What I'm going to do is I'll do that again. Click one, hold down shift on your keyboard, click the other one, and then just move it up. Hold down shift again, click, click, and then move it, and then click, click while holding shift. Shift allows you to select multiple objects at once. So since they're all the same texture, I'm going to do the head texture, bring it over to my texture window, and it changes all of them. How do I get this back? It's really easy. Control Z or Command Z. And there, they're just back in the perfect spot. So as you can see with the transparencies on, we also have this smiling and frowning uh, mouth state. So let's not forget that. Go to the other side, do the same thing. So the majority of the head is done. All you have to do is this little cheek fluff back here, which is where these two other textures come in. Cheek fluff one and cheek fluff two. They're just basically gold and black. So window, go to edit linked parts on your build menu. Start clicking the fluff. Remember, click and then hold down shift on your keyboard while you're clicking and you can select multiple objects at once to texture. That should be enough. So this is gold. All this up here is gold. So I'm going to do the cheek fluff one, bring it over to the build menu. Just looks like I forgot one. There we go. And then down here, 
I see there's um, black, like it gets a little dark down here. So let's just do bluff two here, and it looks good. Let's do the same over here. Remember, click, oops, click, shift, 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 click, 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 click. I think that's everything. Click, 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 click. Cheek fluff one for gold. Click, click, click. Cheek fluff two for black. And it looks like your head is done. So you can go ahead and pick that one up. But since mine's done, I'm going to just delete it. All right. For your jaw, it's actually very easy. There's not a lot to hold texture, to really texture, excuse me. So you just want to do uh, edit linked part and click on the jaw directly. See? Just that part. So go back to the G ship head jaw transparent cheek fluff, click it and drag it to the texture window, drop it, and it textures that jaw for you. Look how bitchin' beautiful that looks. Jaw is done. The ears are fairly simple. Actually, ridiculously easy. So just right click edit, hold down shift, select the other ear. Now go to the G Shep ear texture in your inventory. It'll look like this. And then just click and drag it. And it's done. I know this looks a little funky, but trust me, you'll this will be buried in your head. You won't even see this. So it's going to look like this. That's what your ears will look like. So since these are done, I'm going to delete them. Uh, let's do the peats first. The peats, peats, peats. So these are pretty simple too. Uh, as you can see, they have the alpha masking down here for the edges of the fluff to make it look like uber fluffy. So let's go back to your build menu, right click edit, uh, go to edit linked, and just click directly onto a toe, like just, just the paw. See that? Perfect, okay. Go to the G Shep hands and legs. This is, this is the one texture you're going to use for your paws, your legs, your fingers, everything. Except the nails and the paw pads. Don't you, don't, don't, don't fix it. You can change that on your Kinsart HUD. So right click and drag over here and that looks beautiful. But look, we still have some white fluff. Click those. Click and drag it and it changed. And it looks like everything else is recolored. Don't forget the inside of the fluff. The inside of the fluff right here, that will also need to be textured, which is really simple. So let's do the same thing over here. Right click edit, go to edit linked parts, directly click on the paw fluff, the G-ship hands and legs texture, click and drag. Don't forget to look around for any uh, white textures from the default avatar and the paws are ready to go. So I'm just going to delete these so they'll be out of our way. Up next are the hands. Very simple as well. Now these are also the rigged. These are all rigged parts that I'm using, but you can still apply everything that you see here directly to the static and unrigged parts that come with the avatar. So right click edit and then go to edit linked parts. And again, you're only going to be clicking on the fluff. Use the same texture, G ship hands and legs, click and drag. And you are done. Look at that. There's no fluff on the edges, so you're fine. Let's do the same thing to the other hand. Right click edit edit linked parts up here, don't forget that. Directly click onto the hand and you'll only be selecting the fluff, not the paw pads, not the nails, just the fluff. Click and drag the texture and they are both ready and good to go. So let's just get these out of the way. The legs are ridiculously easy. You can do the same concept or the same technique as the ears. So right click edit and then uh, let's just get this both out of the way at once. Hold down shift on your keyboard, click the second set of leg the legs and uh, click and drag the texture over to your texture window and they are good to go look at that you got everything see all that alpha masking that is a beautiful thing that is a very beautiful thing so delete and delete the legs are done and finally the tail oh it's actually pretty easy I promise so right click edit edit linked parts again click directly on the top fluff which is you know all this fun stuff up here go look for the G Shep tail. 
the G Shep tail has all this like transparent parts. So this is the top, the middle, and the bottom. So as long as this is selected with edit link parts, remember to get an item to go back to where it was, command Z or control Z on your keyboard. The G Shep tail, click and drag, and it automatically applies. Look at that, that looks pretty. So the next thing we have to do is uh, the fluff down here, and it's just one item. See? Oops. See? It's just one item. So we go down here to G Ship Solid Tail Fluff. Click and drag it, and it's textured. Doesn't that look awesome? That's how you do the texturing for the parts, and I look gorgeous. Just, just beautiful. So that should be it. Let me just go ahead and see if I can slap on the... Uh, completed avatar which is also happens to be my final look um, I hope this video did help y'all I really hope it did I work full-time outside of Second Life I have a full-time job I have uh, two little kitties who depend on me so I really appreciate the support y'all have um, shown me so far December Project Mayhem Industries will be ce celebrating five years on the grid five years of business doing awesome mods and commissions. Thank you so much for everyone for keeping me around, keeping me busy, and just showing me plain and simple that y'all like my work. It really means a lot. So this is the final product. This is just the hair that I chose, and it looks like I did not delete the hand. <laughs> so that's the hand. It's bento rigged, so it moves with my AO. Detach that. And I look pretty, and you will too. Or you gents will look handsome as foo. So I hope this tutorial helped y'all. Thank you again so much. If you have any further questions, I don't know why that is happening. I will fix that on my end. Uh, <laughs> I will uh, be more than happy to answer them for you. Just feel free to drop me an offline. I work full time. I'm central time, which is uh, two hours behind uh, Second Life. I'm sorry, not two hours behind. Two hours ahead of Second Life time. And uh, I will be around. I'll see you on the grid. Uh, don't forget to check out some future mods by joining my group. You will be updated with up-to-the-minute mod news. And also get freebies, uh, notices for hunts, and also get to pre preview uh, upcoming mods. So I have a few other mods in mind for this avatar. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you again for supporting my work here in Second Life. And I hope you all have a safe and happy holiday season. Thanks for watching.